Yulia Balakina was a Belarusian sprinter who competed in the 2012 Summer Olympics in the women's 100 and 4 by 100 meter relays, and her life was about to come to a tragic end. Yulia Balakina, death by former boyfriend. Balakina was reported missing in October 2015 and was later found dead in a wooded area near Minsk. Her body was discovered wrapped in plastic, and a former boyfriend confessed to the murder. In 1988, during the Calgary Winter Olympics, a tragic incident occurred that shook the sporting world. Georg Oberhammer, the team doctor for the Austrian Ski Federation and the nation's leading knee specialist, died in a horrific accident. Jörg Oberhammer, death by snow groomer. During the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics, a tragic event unfolded amidst the men's giant slalom event. Jörg Oberhammer, the 47-year-old Austrian team doctor, was skiing on a leisure slope when he collided with a CTV technician. The impact caused him to slide under a snow grooming machine, resulting in his immediate death. Fabio Casartelli was a rising star in the world of cycling. At just 24 years old, he had already achieved the ultimate prize, an Olympic gold medal. But his life was tragically cut short during the 1995 Tour de France. Fabio Casartelli, death by fall. Casartelli, an Italian cyclist and Olympic gold medalist, tragically died on July 18, 1995, during the 15th stage of the Tour de France. He crashed on the descent of the Col de Porte d'Aspe in the Pyrenees, hitting his head on concrete blocks along the roadway. Despite immediate medical attention, he succumbed to his injuries while being transported to a hospital. He was not wearing a helmet. Ross Milne was a promising young alpine skier from Australia who tragically passed away at the age of 19 during the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria. Ross Milne, death by tree. Milne died of a head injury after he lost control during a training run and struck a tree at more than 60 miles per hour. Nicholas Bocciatai, the 1991 Swiss speed skiing champion, ranked among the world's top speed skiers. This high-velocity sport sees competitors descend slopes at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. In a tragic turn of events, Bochatai met his end on the slopes, though not in the manner one might expect. Nicholas Bochatai, death by snow groomer. Bochatai was warming up with a teammate when he collided with a snowcat, a machine used for grooming snow on a public slope. The group had been skiing and jumping over a bump in the slope when Bochatai became airborne and landed directly in front of the groomer. These snow groomers are deadly folks. Knud Enemark Jensen was a Danish cyclist who in 1960 was the winner of the individual Nordic championship. Then, while competing in the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome, he would have his life cut short. Knud Enemark Jensen, death by heat stroke? Jensen died during the 1960 Rome Olympics. He collapsed during the 100-kilometer team time trial, falling off his bike and hitting his head on the ground. He would be dead by the end of the day. Temperatures that day were a hundred degrees plus. And asides from the heat, it was believed that his death was linked to the use of amphetamines, which led to a significant push for drug testing in sports. David Torrance was a Peruvian-American middle distance runner, and until recently was the indoor American record holder in the 1,000 meters. He represented Peru at the 2016 Summer Olympics. David Torrance, death by swimming pool. Torrance was discovered dead in a swimming pool in Scottsdale, Arizona, on August 28, 2017. He was 31 years old. The cause of death was determined to be accidental drowning. Pat Porter was one of the most dominant U.S. distance runners of the 1980s. Porter was a two-time U.S. Olympian 
competing in the 1984 and 1988 Olympic Games. Pat Porter, Death by Plane On July 26, 2012, Pat Porter, his 15-year-old son Connor, and his son's friend, all died when the private plane Porter was piloting, crashed on takeoff at the south end of the Sedona Airport runway just outside Sedona, Arizona, then went down a steep mesa and burst into flames. He was 53 years old. Francisco Lazaro was a Portuguese Olympic marathon runner who competed in the 1912 Summer Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. He was also Portugal's flag bearer in their first ever participation at the Olympic Games. Francisco Lazaro, death by wax. Lazaro collapsed during the 1912 Stockholm Olympics and became the first athlete to die during the modern Olympic Games. The bizarre twist. He had covered himself in wax to prevent sunburn which blocked his pores and led to severe dehydration. Vladimir Smirnov was a legendary Soviet fencer. He won gold medals at the 1976 and 1980 Olympic Games, cementing his status as a true icon of the sport. Vladimir Smirnov, Death by Bad Luck During the 1982 World Fencing Championships in Rome, Smirnov, the reigning world champion, died when his opponent's foil blade broke and the jagged edge penetrated Smirnov's mask, causing a fatal injury to his brain. Kazimierz Kajskrzypetsky. He was a British luge racer and a former pilot in the Royal Air Force and competed in the first Olympic luge competition at the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck. Kazimierz Kajskrzypetsky, death by accident. Tragically, he died from injuries sustained during a training run on January 21, 1964. He suffered a fractured skull and pelvis, among other injuries, and passed away the next day. His death was one of the first fatalities in Olympic luge history. David Mark Berger was an American-born weightlifter who represented Israel in the 1972 Summer Olympics. Born on May 24, 1944, in Cleveland, Ohio, he was a talented athlete who won a gold medal at the 1969 Maccabiah Games and later emigrated to Israel. David Mark Berger, Death by Terrorists Tragically, Berger was one of the 11 Israeli athletes who died after being taken hostage by the Palestinian group Black September during the Munich massacre at the 1972 Olympics. Dieter Wiedemann was a champion cyclist who represented East Germany at the 1960 Rome Olympics. He defected to West Germany in 1964 during the Cold War era. Dieter Wiedemann, Death by Cycling Wiedemann died in 2022 from injuries sustained when he was hit by a car while cycling. It's indeed a tragically ironic end for someone who dedicated his life to the sport. Camille Mouffet was a renowned French swimmer and three-time Olympic medalist. She achieved significant success at the 2012 London Olympics, where she won gold in the 400-meter freestyle, silver in the 200-meter freestyle, and bronze in the 4 by 200 meter freestyle relay. Camille Mouffet, death by helicopter. Camille died March 9, 2015 in a helicopter crash while filming a reality TV show in Argentina. Two other French athletes also perished in the accident. Nodar Kumaritashvili was a 21-year-old Georgian Luger. The Lug event involves individuals racing down an icy track on a small sled in a feet-first supine position. Tragically, Nodar's run would be his last. Nodar Kumaritashvili, Death by Speed On the 12th of February, 2010, during the Winter Olympics competition in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada, Kumaritashvili was fatally injured in a crash during his final training run, after losing control in the last turn of the course. He was thrown off his luge and over the sidewall of the track, striking an unprotected steel support pole at the end of the run. He was traveling at 89 miles an hour at the time of impact. 
Steve Prefontaine, often called Pre, was a renowned American long-distance runner. He competed in the 1972 Munich Olympics, finishing fourth in the 5,000 meters. He also held every American distance running record from 2,000 to 10,000 meters at the time of his death. Steve Prefontaine, Death by the Drink Tragically, Prefontaine died in a car crash after leaving a party on May 30, 1975, at the age of 24. The crash site in Eugene, Oregon, is now marked by a memorial known as Pre's Rock. Police determined he was impaired at the time of the crash. Sammy Lee was an American diver and physician, renowned for his achievements in the sport and his contributions to medicine. Born on August 1, 1920 in Fresno, California, he became the first Asian-American man to win an Olympic gold medal for the United States. Lee won gold medals in platform diving at the 1948 London Olympics and the 1952 Helsinki Olympics. Sammy Lee, Death by Pool Water Lee survived to old age but died in 2016 from pneumonia complicated by water he had apparently inhaled while swimming in his pool, a bizarre end for a champion diver. He was 96. Florence Dolores Griffith Joyner, also known as Flojo, was an American track and field athlete who is considered the fastest woman of all time. She set multiple world records in sprinting events and won three gold medals at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. Flo Jo, Death by Suffocation On September 21, 1998, Griffith Joyner died in her sleep at home in the Canyon Crest neighborhood of Mission Viejo, California, at the age of 38. The unexpected death was investigated by the Orange County Sheriff Coroner's Office, which announced that the cause of death was suffocation during a severe epileptic seizure. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we now offer channel memberships, so take a look and consider joining Team Hollywood till next time.